Lazzaro Spallanzani was an Italian scientist. He carried out an investigation about bats in the 1790s. This investigation well illustrates the basic steps of the scientific method. Let's see how the investigation was done. One day, Spallanzani observed some flying bats carefully. The bats are interesting. They can fly and avoid hitting any objects in the dark. Their eyes are small, but their ears are very big. A question came to Spallanzani's mind. How can bats avoid hitting any objects in the dark? Spallanzani suggested a reasonable answer to his question. This answer which tries to explain what is observed, is called a hypothesis. My hypothesis is, bats rely on their sense of hearing to avoid hitting objects in the dark. Before testing his hypothesis, Spallanzani predicted what the expected results will be if his hypothesis is correct. If I block the ears of a bat with wax, so that the bat loses the sense of hearing, then the bat will hit objects when it flies. Spallanzani tested his hypothesis by doing experiments. He prepared two bats. The ears of one of the bats were not blocked. This was the experimental group. The ears of the other bat were blocked with wax. This was the control group. Spallanzani then released the bats one by one into a dark room with some bells hanging in it. He observed that the experimental group could avoid hitting the bells. However, the other bat with its ears blocked hit the bells. Spallanzani found that the experimental results matched his prediction. His hypothesis was supported. Then he made a conclusion. I conclude that bats rely on their sense of hearing to avoid hitting objects in the dark. From Spallanzani's investigation, can you point out the basic steps of the scientific method? The steps are making observations, asking a question, proposing a hypothesis, making a prediction, testing the hypothesis, and drawing a conclusion.